When am I going to learn that a wild goose chase for a story usually ends with a rotten egg? wants to know this is the red blue blur yeah right how do i know you're not some deep throat wannabe with a lot of time on his creepy hands look down i received your letter miss lane Copy Lois, if you want. And while we're at it, do you want to weigh in on the whole red blue blur thing? Because it's kind of a mouthful on this end. I think there's probably a better name out there. And if there's anyone who can find it, it's you, Miss Lane. I'll put my best men on it. And by men, I mean me, because I work in the basement and employ pretty much no one unless you count my intern. I'm sorry, I'm rambling. You're nervous. Can you read my mind? Who am I kidding? It's Saturday night and I hightailed it down here because I have one obsession right now and it's you. And when you didn't respond to my skywriting, I just... That was a nice one, by the way. Between you and me, I could use a little work on that subtle thing. You know there's nothing wrong with taking your job seriously. There is when you don't know who you'd be without it. Something tells me you know yourself better than you think. Lois, you're a great reporter. All on your own. You don't need a hero or some gimmick to make a headline. Thanks. My editor would kill me, but I don't want this story. What I've really been wondering is, what is it that you need? I mean, you've dedicated your life to a city full of strangers, and I'm not saying that I know what it's like to be a hero, but even the fastest blur in the world can't outrun loneliness. I guess what I'm saying is, if you ever want to talk, totally off the record, I'm only a phone call away. I'll keep that in mind. And Lois, when I'm ready to tell the world my secret, you'll be the first to know.